Hello friends, my name is Jessica and I work in Ballyframmit Library and today I'm going to tell you one of my favourite stories, The Three Billy Goats Gruff. And these little guys are going to help me. Wait a minute, did I hear somebody say that these don't look like billy goats? <gasps> I think you're right. But I think we can use our imaginations and we're going to pretend that they're billy goats just for today. Okay, so let me tell you their names. This is the biggest billy goat, William Gruff. This is his brother, Benjamin Gruff. And this is their little brother, Baby Gruff. Now, these three billy goats live in a field on the side of a hill where they spend most of their day eating their favourite food. Nom, 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 nom. What do you think that is? Sausages? Mm, no. Is it chocolate cake? No. Did I hear somebody say grass? Yes. You're absolutely right. The three billy goats gruff love to eat fresh, juicy green grass. But today, they're feeling a bit sad. Because they have eaten all the grass in their field. What are they going to do? Well, baby gruff is the first one to look up and across and notices that the field on the other side of the river is full of fresh juicy green grass. So he said, hey, I'm going to cross that bridge and go and check out that field over there. His brother, Benjamin Gruff, said, uh oh, you better watch out for that troll that lives under the bridge. Baby Gruff said, I don't believe in trolls. I'm going to go. And he did. He trip trapped across the bridge. Trip trap, trip trap, trip trap. Just as he had reached the middle of the bridge, there was a roaring noise and a big troll jumped out from under the bridge. Hey, little goat, nice of you to come trip trapping across my bridge just when I was feeling hungry. <gasps> ah! Baby Gruff was a bit scared, but he was also very brave and clever. And he thought very quickly, and he said to the troll, Mr. Troll, I am the smallest billy goat gruff, and I wouldn't be much of a meal. If you let me cross the bridge, the bridge, then my brother, Benjamin Gruff, will follow me over, and he is much bigger than me, and you can have him for your dinner. <gasps> the troll thought about it, and said, Okay. So, baby gruff, Trip trapped happily over the bridge to the field of fresh, juicy green grass. When Benjamin Gruff saw that Baby Gruff had managed to cross the bridge, he trotted off as fast as his hoofs could carry him straight towards the bridge. The biggest billy goat, William Gruff, called after him. He said, Wait, what about that troll? Oh, but Benjamin Gruff had trotted off so quickly that he didn't hear him. He trip-trapped across the bridge. Trip-trap, trip-trap, trip-trap. And what do you think happened when the troll heard him? Mm-hmm, you're right. The troll jumped out and said, Who's that trip-trapping over my bridge? You're just in time for dinner. <laughs> now, Benjamin Gruff did get a fry, but he was also a quick thinker like his little brother. And he said, oh, Mr. Troll, you'd still be hungry if you ate me. Why don't you wait for my big brother, William Gruff? When he sees me cross over the bridge, he's sure to follow. Hmm. The troll thought about it and said, Okay. So, Benjamin Gruff tripped up, tripped up, tripped up, off the bridge and into the field to munch on the fresh, juicy green grass with Baby Gruff. Now, when William Gruff, the biggest and toughest of the Billy Goats Gruff, saw that his two brothers were eating all the delicious, fresh, juicy green grass in the field on the other side of the river, he galloped down the hill and towards the bridge. This time, the troll was standing in the middle of the bridge, licking his lips and waiting for him. 
William Gruff skidded to a halt in front of the hungry troll and growled at him. He said, Out of my way, troll! And the troll said, Wait a minute! I'm just going to eat you for my dinner! And William Gruff said, I don't think so! Not today, troll! And he ran at the troll and he headbutted him. And the troll tumbled over, he fell off the bridge and into the river. And William Gruff trip trapped over the bridge towards all that fresh, juicy, green grass. So the three billy goats gruff ended up on the other side of the river, eating all that grass, having a lovely time. And as for the troll, well, the three billy goats gruff haven't seen him since. I think he has learned the hard way to stay away from billy goats and maybe catch a nice fish for his dinner instead. So that's the end. Thank you for listening. Thank you from William Gruff, from Benjamin Gruff, and from Baby Gruff. And goodbye from all of us.